Hi there. You know, M Files is all about having the one and only copy of a document, right? Now, how can we make sure things stay like that? Well, let me show you. If you're using M Files Online, which is the latest version of the product, you'll automatically have duplicate detection at your use. That's right. M Files goes through not only the name, but also the contents of the document and lets you know if it already exists in your vault. Cool, right? If you want to create content that already exists in M Files, for example, create a new document from a template and modify it later, just go for it. And when deciding not to create a duplicate, just search for the original and continue from there. By browsing the relationship arrows, you're able to see the documents with the duplicate content. Note that the metadata and the name might be different here. If you notice these duplicates, I highly recommend you only keep one document and delete the other copies. This will help eliminate confusion for people in the future. In my case, I noticed that the one in the vault actually has more metadata filled in and there may already be existing links that point to this document. So maybe it's best to delete the one I just created. So long and thanks for all the fish, my devious duplicate. <laughs> Me and Mfiles 1, Content Chaos Monster 0. By the way, when you delete a document, it doesn't get destroyed yet, but goes to a trash bin, so to speak, which for data security reasons is not accessible to all users. Now, as an admin user, I'm able to see the deleted documents and restore them with just one right click without the need to restore any old backups. So, if you happen to delete something by accident, no need to worry. Just contact your key user or admin user and sit tight to see the mfiles magic happen. One more thing. Let's say that I received a new version of my document that was not modified in mfiles for some reason. Of course, I wouldn't save this as a new document. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to replace the contents. And to do that, I will simply drag and drop the new document on top of the original one. This way, the metadata will remain unchanged and the document just gets a new version. As an additional benefit, all the links you have previously sent to your colleagues will now point to the latest version, so no need to send new links. Now isn't this something? You know, you've gathered so much knowledge so far that soon the apprentice is gonna become the master. But before that, check another video. I still have some things to show you. See you soon.